guys, DIY with Elle here and I've partnered with Cole Timbers for this DIY project. And this DIY project is pretty much needed in every household, but when you purchase it from the store, it can get a little costly. So I wanna show you how to use some unrelated items and help you make a DIY headboard. Let me show you what I'm gonna to use to create this DIY headboard. Here we go, it's a door. I'm using a door from Swatland Windows and Doors because guys, when you think about it, we're always looking at a door vertically, but when you change your point of view, other ideas spring to mind. So I thought, why not turn it horizontally and look, we have a headboard. So what we're gonna do is I need to cut this to size. I wanna cut it to a length of 1,580 millimeters because that suits the size of a queen size bed. I'm going to use my circular saw, so let's get cutting. So we finished cutting the door to size. Remember, I want this entire headboard to be a length of 1,580 millimeters because it will match the bed perfectly. So I had to take into account the side legs, the width of them, and I did. So I times it by two and made sure I cut it to account for the two side legs that do make up the length. Let's go to the side legs, by the way. Here they are, I'm not gonna use that guy. This is the one I'm going to use. It's a sturdy pine bar and it's 1.8. Now you know how short I am. It's 1.8 meters long. So, but I need to cut these two legs as well that are gonna go on the side of our door because I don't want the headboard sitting at 1.8 meters above the bed. That's just, it's too grand, it's ridiculous. But I did measure my headboard and I wanted to sit at 1.4 meters. So I'm gonna cut both these legs with my compound saw. All right, so we've cut the legs. These are the two longer legs that go on the side of our door slash headboard. And here I've cut two smaller pieces to give extra support legs in the middle of the headboard. So we have four legs all together. Now, how are we going to assemble this project together? Well, I've got some Eureka cut screws over here. So we're definitely gonna use that. The drill bit is inserted in my trusty power drill and the key ingredient is we're going to use some metal brackets to attach the pieces all together. Some right angle ones and some flat ones and some T-shaped ones. Apply some wood glue for extra strength. Remember guys, that all of these brackets and screws remain visible only on the underside of the headboard. Now the headboard is assembled, it's time to sand the surfaces lightly with my orbital sander. And now I'm staining my headboard. And because it's for interior use, it's an optional step if you wish to seal your headboard.
I just love how this color turned out. A DIY door headboard. I think it turned out just great and it looks like such a beautiful, sturdy piece of furniture. And I can say because I DIY'd this one, it definitely saved me some money. For more home DIY and decor projects and videos, follow me at DIY with L and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until the next project, keep smiling and DIYing. My wash is melting! <laughs> Look, it's an L. I'm just doing a funny. Look, it's an L and an L. An L and an L. An L and an L. <laughs> okay, dilly time.